I would like to ask you, Professor Friedman, to give us a brief outline uh, of you, what you see as uh, the ideal society, your personal utopia, if you would like. Well, my personal utopia is one which takes the individual, or the family, if you will, as the key element in society. I would like to see a society in which individuals have the maximum freedom to pursue their own objectives in whichever direction they wish, so long as they don't interfere with the rights of others to do the same thing. In such a society, I believe you do need a government, but the government has a very limited role. Its role should be to provide for the national defense, to provide for protecting one individual from coercion by other individuals, and finally, to provide a mechanism whereby we can formulate the rules that will govern us, the rules that decide what we regard as private property, what we regard as the rights of individuals, uh, legislative process, and as part of that, a mechanism for judging differences of opinion. So you would have essentially in my good society a very limited government devoted to the tasks of defense, of justice, of legislating rules, and very little else. Mm -hmm. The rest would be left to the free individual activities of individuals joined together through the operation of a private and competitive market. At the moment we, we have, uh, uh, in your opinion I guess anyway, too big a government and uh, very far uh, from uh, the ideal society which you have described. Which would be the best way to attain, to realize that dream? There is only one effective way to do so, and that is by democratic means, by allowing the people to express their views. I have been fascinated by the fact that in country after country you have a paradox. You have what is supposed to be a government of the majority. You have a representative government. And yet that government repeatedly does things that a majority of the people oppose. You go around in the United States, for example, where I know the situation best, and you will find that a majority of the people in the United States think government is spending too much, imposing taxes that are too high, and would like to see government cut back. At the same time, the representatives of the people, through the parliament, through what we call the Congress, you call the Parliament, uh, follow policies which lead to those results that the majority deplore. The reason for that, I believe, is that we, don't, we have a defect in our governmental institutions. What we have is a situation in which minorities, special interest minorities, are able to exercise undue influence. In my opinion, so far as the United States is concerned, our solution to that is going to be through public action which will lead to constitutional provisions setting narrower limits on government. That was a device that was adopted in the 18th century by the founders of our country in the original constitution and we need to reinforce that in my opinion by using the constitution to set narrower limits on the scope of government.